Yes, here on the morning prime, we continue a pace looking at the Supreme Court right now, where everyone is training their focus. Yesterday was uh, a big day for Azimio with a truckload of evidence that they've taken to the Supreme Court, a truckload of carrying 39 volumes of evidence there. Dan Mazo is with me. He was there yesterday. Also, we have Senator Aaron Cheriot, Senator elect Kericho County, Senator elect Makweni, Dan Mazo. Also, we have with us Isaac Maura joining us this morning as well. Immediate former nominated senator. Mm. Thank you for joining us Thank today. You. Also, as I mentioned, we're expecting Richard Onyonka. He's not uh, uh, picking up his call, so I doubt if he's coming. But mm. let's continue with the conversation uh, as it is right now. Maybe you're fresh now. We had mm. carried on with the conversation, and I just wanted to also uh, rope you in and you tell us uh, what has been your reaction since yesterday when you saw the truckload of evidence uh, going to the Supreme Court. You've been on the other side of uh, ODM. Unfortunate. That track road is just a, you know, a lot of papers that we uh, hear were being photocopied at, on fourth floor Harambe, uh, Harambe House. And uh, it's unfortunate, really, because when you read the main petition, the bar is fairly shallow. Uh, you know, the first thing that is being addressed there is the issue that somebody's laptop, which was stolen in the open, you know, public view uh, of, of a gentleman called Kip Koech, that it should be handed over and done forensic audit. Uh, you hear issues to do with the uh, differing presidential votes uh, with those of a gubernatorial, uh, you know, uh, like in Kirinyaga, for example, where there were allegations of uh, extra ballot boxes being, you know, sneaked in. And by uh, the way, you know, uh, that returning officer in Kirinyaga has been uh, found uh, dead. Yes, exactly. Yes, and, yes. and may so rest in peace. But it's, it's, it's unfortunate. But, but, but isn't it consternating that uh, we have returning officers? Uh, this election is a, is a matter of life and death. Mm. Yeah, why would he actually disappear? Um, and what is the rhyme and reason that uh, someone should kill him? Because of the cooked evidence that is being presented before court. But I thank God because the deputy returning officer will still carry on with the, with the, with the, with the functions. So anybody who thinks that if you kill a returning officer in Bakasi East, another one, you kill them, you know, that, that is not fair. Don't kill but, innocent But people. why would you connect it to the cooked evidence? You know, that is because the allegation that's the that only we don't have any... Yeah. The ball, no. There is, there is direct co covariance. Uh, I mean, it's a very educated guess. You have 23,000 votes. It's the only place with the highest number of votes out of the 33,000 that are allegedly are dif differing with the presidential. Remember, James Orengo had actually said in Mount Kenya region, 800,000 people showed up to vote for the president alone with 500,000 voting for the president alone in Kiambu. I was in charge of the Kiambu Secretariat Presidential. And I had to do the tally myself when I had those wild allegations. The differences between uh, the votes of the president, which was 825,000, against those of the governor, 822, because of spoiled votes, is, is minimal. It's not 500,000. Mm -hmm. So when you see now 23,000 alone from Kirinyaga, you know, and you know very well the so-called deep state comes from there. Uh, you know, uh, the, the PS in, in, interior. You, 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 you also see a scheme there. You see a scheme to ensure that you provide some evidence that would try to show some small amounts of numbers here and there to, so that you minimize the 235,000 votes that made uh, William Ruto uh, become the president-elect. And even further, when you look at the, 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 the petition, uh, you see this allegation of turnout. Uh, the turnout was 14,164,000. But then they, arguing to, uh, they, they, they argue in their uh, petition it was 464. So deliberate attempts of int introducing minor errors here and there to ensure that then you actually uh, make it look like there was no clear winner. Some of these things really are very deliberate. And I think uh, it's only yesterday that uh, this matter was filed. I, uh, and, and we have four days to respond, uh, you know, uh, on our side. And Senator Cheriot is here. But I actually believe that uh, with proper, you know, investigations, analysis of, of documents, we shall be able to prove that, in fact, uh, William Samoy Ruto was validly uh, elected as President of the Republic of Kenya. So, so I, I don't see anything else here because when you talk about ICT audit, there's nothing different. If you, now, instead of blaming IBC as a whole, you are, uh, you know, you are, you, you are, you are demonizing Chabukati, you see? And, and making him the, the center of the problem. And of course, it's very glaring for Kenyans to see that the, the commissioners who are co cooperating are basically those that were appointed under the handshake. And they are all, each one individually, uh, you know, linked to whoever who may have actually proposed them uh, to become, uh, um, uh, you know, the commissioners. But, but, but that, that, that argument about the commissioners being linked to someone who proposed them, it, it does not really hold water. 
because it, in this bench mm -hmm. i think you are related to somebody who is uh, actually working somewhere for the government right or even for a parastatal we are all interconnected as relatives and distance relatives so but to try and trace down that that uh, you know my ancestry roots that, that i'm connected to so and so you'll find all of us we're brothers and sisters at the end of the day so it doesn't make any leak of sense for us to it try and it actually advance that particular statement that oh you know what these commissioners were appointed under the handshake i mean by then we didn't have any commissioners so what would we have done no 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 I, either of the commissioners who have been appointed as four of them you still have you know adopt them as a handshake let, 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 me, re let me respond to this uh, yeah. Nibal. Uh, why this is uh, that why this is important is not actually necessarily uh, that the fact that they are linked to somebody is because of their behavior that seems to be partisan when you are a commissioner you cease from being whoever appointed you and you become a, co a corporate entity that is supposed not to be predictable in the way you are supposed to behave how comes they are the ones who we are singling out at this point in time their behavior is suspect it seems like they went there with a very clear mandate do this and we hear that the the the, the problem between them and, and the chairman the national returning officer is that they wanted the results to be moderated so that that seven commissioners should moderate the 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 the, the wheel of 14 million you know you know uh, you know you know you know you know kenyans where william had won with 7.176 million votes so i think that is where Kenya, kenyans have a problem and especially when they have also goofed in the eyes of the court of the public opinion even they cannot even properly you know tabulate uh, you know the various uh, you know uh, you, you know they cannot tabulate the various uh, you know i mean they cannot do their proper mathematics so you cannot then, then say were well, they actually competently hired to uh, superintend of a very important exercise that only happens once every five years the general elections so what really yeah. constitu constitutes a behavior that uh, you'll say uh, you know really showcase that they were leaning on one side you know when 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 you because have when you talk about the competition of it does that that one does not really you know constitute showing my bias no no you see when no, when i just wanted to just tell us because you know now we're headed to a very critical moment where a anything that rips off the tongue has to be carefully thought of no no, no. i i stand by my statement yeah that's what i'm saying what really constitutes the biasness that you'll say the biasness of the yeah. fact that uh, chebukati has come out publicly and said that they wanted him to moderate results and for him he was going by the official results as tabulate as tallied by anyone across the world but they came also with their statement as well and uh, disassociated themselves from what Chebukati was saying. No, I am going by the fact that Chebukati has actually said so. Why I'm taking the side of Chebukati is because they were the first to accuse. And when they came out publicly, they said, oh, there was some opaqueness. I don't know if it's opaqueness or opacity. They're real English. But they, 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 there was some opaqueness in, in the manner in which uh, elections were, 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 were actually declared. Mm -hmm. And yet they were participating in that process up to until maybe it became evidently clear that the state project Raila Odinga was not winning and, and I want to be very direct on that because they were appointed under the handshake so when you are uh, if you are the appointing authority there should be some element where you desist and you recuse yourself from being seen to be advancing the interests of your appointing authority this is politics Dan Mazo yes. uh, is it I think is that on yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's my turn let me let me help uh, Maura make this point about the IBC committee the four uh, they are now being referred to as uh, the four <laughs> OPEC commissioners. <laughs> um, as per the Elections Act, uh, no, no, actually the IBC Act, Parliament is supposed to conduct uh, uh, the recruitment. Apart, Parliament is one of the nominating uh, agencies. And therefore, when uh, this matter came up, uh, we advertised, because, you know, I, I serve in the Parliamentary Service Commission, so we, we advertised actually for... Uh, people to make applications or when we sat down and said um, uh, what process do we adopt there are two ways which anytime parliament is supposed to make a nomination to uh, various uh, constitutional commissions say like SRC, IBC and the rest, mm -hmm. there are two ways that you can go about it. If it is not expressly provided for the houses to provide mm -hmm. We can either do it as parliamentary service commission or we can ask if it's a political matter such as the one for IBC, we can ask that uh, the majority and minority leadership of both houses mm -hmm. uh, participate in the exercise. When we had our first meeting uh, of the PSC, we all agreed that uh, given the direction the country had taken where you couldn't tell anymore, where the majority and the minority leadership of the houses were actually one. And there was another wing of the political divide that was completely, uh, completely uh, 
uh, uh, removed from the leadership of, of, yeah. of the houses and therefore it will be impossible for them to participate. So in the, in the wisdom of uh, Parliamentary Service Commission, we thought that it would be better for us to actually conduct the interviews ourselves. And that is what we, we, we agreed on. Unfortunately, hours later, and I remember this like it was yesterday, my colleagues that we serve with came back to the meeting and said uh, they had received phone calls from Raila Odinga and uh, President Uru Kenyatta and therefore they, were they wanted to reconsider their stand and they wanted to donate their powers as commissioners instead of uh, carrying out the exercise. They wanted us to now go the route of uh, asking the majority and minority leaders to nominate a selection panel uh, that is going to conduct the exercise uh, eventually. So, of course, um, I protested, but uh, I was in the minority, and as is the uh, way of the democracy, mm -hmm. uh, the majority had their way. And uh, that is how uh, Amos Kimunya and uh, John Badi, uh, uh, together with Pogisio and Oringo, gave out names of uh, people to the selection uh, panel, which eventually did the interviews and gave us this uh, for commissioners. So, Maura is right and spot on when he tells you that the process that led um, to the nomination of these four commissioners was marred by uh, serious uh, uh, political uh, interference that could only result in giving partisan commissioners and not people that will understand really the, uh, the nature or the kind of task that they are undertaking. So, so what, what were you really protesting about? My protest was this, that uh, at that time, the majority and the minority leadership of uh, both sides of uh, parliament were on one side of the political divide. That there was another half of parliament, or even more than half at that particular time in the country, and the political divide, as the elections have just shown us, that was not represented anywhere. And therefore, I said, since the Parliamentary Service Commission has a broader representation of all of us uh, who uh, caucus around the handshake and those of us who caucus around uh, a team different uh, to the handshake, served in PSC, then it would have been better if we ourselves conducted the interviews and gave the country a selection panel. Because what parliament need, needed to do mm. is just give a selection panel and the selection panel will now invite Kenyans to, uh, to apply for the position of commissioners. Unfortunately, that never happened. The f uh, selection panel was single-handedly picked by uh, Raila Odinga and uh, Gideon Moy and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. And you can see that reflected in actually the conduct of these uh, four commissioners. So this that be, all along, we, that's we have why... It, we have it in the hands of... That's why... So. We, you, so. we have no, it in the hands of... This is totally no, no, just, yeah. name my, my, You see, my friend, yeah, you, don't the, serve, you don't serve in PSC. I, I do. I don't, but I've been in ask Parliament any of my colleagues, ask any of the people who serve in the, in the fifth uh, parliamentary service commission, if what I am alleging is untrue, you know very well that I don't speak lies. It's, it's well, I, I, this was not really on the, on the floor of the house, isn't <laughs> no, it? No, no, no. This is in the, the deliberation of, 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 of PSC. The, the where, where, yes. where is that documented? If it's, you uh, it's captured in our minutes. No. Just go through the minutes of our, of our meeting. That we had a meeting one morning and later on in the afternoon is when we came, we, 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 we came back to see it and agree uh, on a different mode, separate no, no. from what we had agreed so, on. So this, this minute, uh, we, it's Wiper, to it, it, Wiper, it, it, Wiper, the party that he comes from, just has a nominee in the name of Ben Mumanyi. I dare you to ask Ben Mumanyi after this meeting and report to us if what I am saying is not true. Okay, can, can he, uh, you is, want to interject and say? Yes, yes, it is not Parliamentary Service Commission which determines selection panels. Selection panel is, uh, you, know, you know, there is a, a committee already uh, of Parliament which deals with the. Uh, uh, you know, nominations of uh, commissioners of uh, That's not true. any. So let him finish. What, what, what happens is that uh, eventually names get to the floor. There, it is not the job of parliamentary service commission to determine the people to be selected. Uh, you, you know, or, or to, to, to determine the people who 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 will go into any commission, not only the electoral commission. I think it really is, that is totally misleading. There is already. Um, a committee which deals with that. There is a committee of parliament already, National Assembly, hmm. which deals with, uh, with, with, with selection, with, you, you know, a select committee which, which deals with Which that. committee is this? Wh which deals with... Uh, which committee? You, you know, when you are dealing with um, um, any of the commissions, uh, the, 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 there is always, uh, first of all, it is the committee of justice and constitutional affairs, Manzo. which deals with the IBC stop, in particular. Please stop embarrassing yourself, Manzo. No, Allow no, me no. to help you. 
Thank Allow me to not, help you because I did this process. Listen, commission. listen, it can never be. listen, Manzo. Yes. Let me but, help but, but you. You are my friend. Can a commission determine another? You commission? are my friend. Listen, yes. this is what happens. The drafting uh, isn't as spectacular as is expected. So the wording that is used is that Parliament shall invite uh, what is it called nominees to the panel from the following agencies. There are two representatives from uh, religious groups. There is a representative from LSK. And therefore, we, we wrote to LSK and say, please send us. There's a representative from, I don't know which other, one of these, either ISPAC or one of these uh, professional uh, 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 bodies. Mm. So we wrote to them, you know, mm. as Parliamentary uh, Service Commission. It is not, it is, the, the drafting, I've said the drafting is not as spectacular. For example, I can tell him, when, when, it, uh, when it comes to nomination of commissioners to SRC, uh, the drafting is, is, is elaborate. It clearly sp uh, specifies that Senate shall nominate. And therefore, how we've done it in the Senate is that the Senate Budget and Finance Committee uh, nominates a representative. National Assembly also has a slot. And therefore, Parliament ends up sending two nominees. But in the IBC Act, it just says Parliament. And therefore, that's why I've told him, when it says Parliament, there are two ways of doing it. Either of the houses either us as, as uh, at the leadership of, uh, of, of PSC mm -hmm. can send it to the houses for consideration so that it goes the route that uh, Dan Manzo is, uh, is trying to, uh, to propose, but not, not the route of a parliamentary, any of the parliamentary committee. It is actually the leadership of uh, both sides that they sit down and agree, or we as a commission can under undertake that particular task. We had said, and there was good reason to this, and members had agreed in, uh, when, when we had our meeting in the morning, that while we await uh, the nominees from LSK, religious uh, institution, ASPAC and the rest, mm -hmm. on, we, we were going to actually do the exercise as PSC for parliament because we understood the kind of uh, political atmosphere that existed in parliament at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, like I have narrated and I have told you, I don't lie. I speak the truth and nothing but the truth. Confirm this with your representative in PSC, the Honorable Ben Mumani, if what I'm saying is true or not true phone calls came in over lunch hour and these people changed their position and said no 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 let us write to john buddy and uh, and uh, and uh, amos kimunya to give us their proposals for the selection panel and that is what happened so eventually uh, they gave us uh, two nominees uh, from both sides of uh, of the house and together we uh, we put it up together as a team and forwarded it to the president because it's the president who gazettes the who, who nominates the selection so, panel so a selection panel is what actually deals with this, not the Parliamentary Service Commission. Yeah. And that's where things went wrong. Parliamentary Service Commission has a specific mandate to deal with matters uh, relating to the to interests. Par yeah, so it's a wrong body, the Parliamentary Service Commission, so what's, what's, even what, under its what, act. What, it so what exactly is your, is your argument? My point is this, I was just buttressing Maura's point, that the, 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 the process that led to uh, the naming of these uh, four opaque commissioners was actually mad with political interference and that's why even in that but, but their, their yeah, responsibility the question will be no the question will be to you Aaron Chiriot, because i think we had this conversation even prior to 2017 general election mm -hmm. and you had a joint committee from uh, was it the national assembly also from the senate so that we had eight uh, parliamentarians was it eight or seven i think yeah uh, nine, nine from yeah, each house. yeah nine from each houses yeah and what was on the table was that even from that particular uh, constitution of the parliamentarian mm -hmm. that the, if you have political interest, uh, we'll have, you know, uh, sort of uh, an equilibrium coming from both sides of the, of, of, uh, the divide. If, if, if it was then um, the court coalition. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You, and you, yes, so, so you have your interest also within yes, the IBC. Yes, exactly. Was that the point, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So the point, has this, yes. That's mm -hmm. a point that I'm trying to make. Okay. That at this point, John Mbadi and Amos Kimunya were playing for the same side of the political divide. And therefore, when they gave their nominations to the selection panel, they carried only the interest of one side. Therefore, the equilibrium that we achieved in 2017 could it be achieved at this particular point. That's why many of us argued, and I still maintain that that was the right position, when we went to Parliamentary Service Commission and were discussing about this particular matter of how uh, the selection panel is to be formed, mm -hmm. that if you take it to the, to the floor of the House, because we have two options, and that's what I've told Manzo, which he has refused to understand, that there were two routes available for us. Either we could do it as PSC ourselves and give names to the selection panel, and we had earlier taken on that route. Or secondly, we could ask the leadership of the houses, because it's a 
quote unquote political issues. We nominate people uh, to the to, to SRC, for example, on behalf of, of Parliament and other constitutional commissions. We did interviews, for example, for NCIC because in the drafting of many of these uh, legislation, the aiding legislation for the constitutional commissions. Uh, I think and these are things that grow over time and uh, perhaps needs to be rectified with this coming uh, with this session of parliament it is only stated as parliament shall nominate but it doesn't give the procedure it doesn't say whether it's a leadership right. of the house or the same but, but therefore but this, this is a point I don't want you to lose this point okay. which you, you have actually helped uh, make that to achieve the political equilibrium and carry on board uh, both sides because at any given time the country is mostly divided on two uh, political sides the truth of the matter is that in that selection panel, the interest of the team uh, that I come from were never carried. It was only uh, the team of uh, what you now refer to as Azimio that exclusively nominated the seven, uh, the, 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 the nominating, uh, the majority actually. And you know, it's, it's four. This uh, selection uh, panel, I think, has seven people. One from Religious Society, LSK, and uh, I forget the, uh, the other professional uh, body. And four from Parliament. These uh, four, of course, will be an obvious majority. That's why it's important that any process that you use to arrive at the people that sit in the IABC selection uh, panel, as was the case, will carry the face of the country. Uhuru and Raila never allowed the country to but the question, that privilege. The question is as well, uh, you, you these, these, these four commissenars, yes. they, they were presented before the National Assembly, isn't it? No, no. They weren't? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, of they course are. Why, why were these questions not raised then? Wait, they yeah, have to be uh, presented uh, before the parliamentary, uh, uh, sorry, before the, the floor of the House. Yes. And they have to come through a committee and there is a selection panel. When you go to the selection panel, you hear it, it covers uh, quite a range of professional bodies to count a check and you see Kenyans are even given an opportunity to publicly participate and give input in case there is a person who has been nominated and you have doubts about so there are so many tests which are conducted by so many people such that parliamentary mm. service commission cannot take it as his own act and mm. as a main thing and that's why you, you, you know similarly to the inter-parties Remember in the 90s when there was an inter-parties initiative, yes. uh, when we were doing a commission at one time earlier on, uh, the idea is there must be political balance and political fairness. So to come and say uh, the, the four commissioners are opaque and their process of nominating them was not counter-checked is really biased. I mean, uh, and it's against them, it's not fair to them. Uh, there was such a definitive process uh, whether Parliamentary Service Commission, whether Select Committee, and then the relevant committee of Parliament, which is a committee of justice and constitutional affairs, and then the floor of the House. The steps are so many that, uh, mm. the, 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 you know, their side enjoy majority even on the floor of the House. These people will never have survived. So we, there's we, no we need to go down. back. There's no need to go back yeah. uh, and say they were never fairly, uh, you know, processed. Uh, because uh, the floor of the house uh, they are so they've gone through the rigors of the process they, itself yes. and, uh, they, they were in the glare of uh, of course the cameras this was the, in the interviews were, were, were done you know yeah openly openly publicly it was in the public Kenyan, gallery and everyone Kenyan who had questions about their connections well, you had an opportunity to raise I, I, th I, th I think the so, no 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 just the question is then wouldn't you consider it to be very unfair when you label them as opec uh, you know uh, commissioners handshake uh, commissioners at the end of the day while they've gone through the requisites yes i think rigors <coughs> of the process of the of recruitment and they've passed master why will you raise questions now why I not then i think uh, the, the question that, that is being uh, asked here <coughs> can somebody <coughs> who isaac maura prefers be able to pass all those ch those ch uh, stages and still make it and end up becoming the uh, the appointee of isaac maura yes it's possible it is possible because, uh, as uh, Senator Chariota has explained, uh, the selection panel was biased. It was one-sided. And the appointing authority was one of the handshakers, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta. And when they are the majority in a selection panel, they will be able to make sure that those names pass anyway because they have a higher number of uh, people in the selection panel than the so-called professional bodies. And then after that, you bring the same names to a committee that is chaired by also the one side of the political divide 
and also the numbers on the floor of the house depending on the day the matter is conversed and the speaker that time uh, the, depending on the his standard what point you it goes and then you just gazette so let us not try to say because it is very protracted and it is very well in, what happens in, uh, in 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 such kind of political processes there's a lot of bulldozing you hear the house of phone calls and people change because they don't want to miss their nomination certificate uh, at the end of their parliamentary term uh, so that then they can have the opportunity to go back to parliament that is exactly what happens look at even the leadership of jailer and you don't want to profile anybody here mm -hmm. it was actually from one side it was muturi kigano and otiende amolo you see by the end of the day so these commissioners had an idea and had, had a plan they had a, their job well cut and the, the issue was to make sure that the political succession that had been planned within the handshake succeeded but when it, the, the will of the people of kenya so determined that William Samoy Ruto is the, now the president-elect is when they, they bolted, actually. So, so, so let us not try to hide under all public scrutiny and what have you, even public presentations. We've been in that parliament. I've been there now for 10 years. Even that public presentation can be stage-managed. There are very few Kenyans, really, who go before a committee to say certain things, you know. Even the media can actually pub choose to publish that which is seen to be sensitive or not. And we are saying very clearly... Sometimes even some of these can come out, you know, you can give people the benefit of the doubt and say, even if it's um, linked to Isaac Maura, but let's give him an opportunity to serve. But then when you are very predictable that whatever you are told to do, you don't even have a second thought. You cannot even read a statement and confirm that whatever details that are there are true. You even t tell us the mathematical errors. And then, let me ask you a question why we are, we are, we are, we are, we are saying that. Mm. Didn't you see the Cherera statement at Jisarena was very similar? In fact, not, uh, if not identical with the one that Raila Odinga did. So when, when you're asking us questions here, as if to question why we are uh, asking about their own integrity, it's, it's in the public domain. So we do not want a situation where those people who are given the opportunity to superintend uh, such a serious exercise end up asking us, that whoever they prefer to vote on the ballot, which they had an opportunity to go and cast their vote, that is the one who should win. Well, l l let me ask uh, a simple, because you, you raised the, the jail like issue. Yes. And uh, I'm just referring to also one of uh, the gazettes. We had a, a National Assembly bill, yes. National Assembly bills 2019. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And uh, just looking at the, also the quick facts about the bill itself, that uh, by then, uh, we if you may go the selection panel applied only to the first appointment of a commissioners under act this was now training the focus on uh, you know the, the selection of new commissioners, commissioners. Uh, yeah, on the IBC mm -hmm. and yeah. this is what you're telling us huh? mm -hmm. that four persons being two men and two women nominated by the parliamentary service commission this is what you're alluding to yes uh, mm -hmm. one person nominated by the Kenya conference of Catholic bishops yes uh, one person nominated by the National Council of Churches of Kenya uh -huh. one person nominated by the Supreme Council of Kenya uh, Muslims, the uh -huh. National Muslim Leaders Forum and the Council of Imams and Preachers of Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, one person nominated by the Evangelical Alliance of Kenya mm -hmm. and one person nominated by the Hindu Council of Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the current uh, first schedule. Then we had the first schedule proposed in the bill. Mm -hmm. That four persons being two men and one oh, no, no, nominated. No. What, yeah? what, you're, what you're reading, uh, you're most likely to be reading. Um, you're most likely to be reading schedules to the bill, not what was eventually passed. Because, not all, like yeah. I've told you, but, uh, the religious uh, groups. I think their slot is either one or two people mm, only, mm, mm. not the, the entire number that you've listed. But I've told you, parliamentary service commission clearly yeah. nominates four people. It says here so, that the respective nominating bodies yes. have submit names so of the nominees either, either, to the parliamentary yeah. service yes. commission. For either transmission to the, president to the president for appointment. Yes, either we do it directly or we ask the leadership of the house. And I've explained to you why we thought at that time asking uh, Amos Kimunya and James Buddy to give you names separately was counterproductive because they were batting for the same side of the political divide at that time. <laughs> and therefore, as a constitutional commission, many of us felt that it would make more sense if we sat down and adjudicated because at that level of, a, of an uh, which, independent commission, which, you can tell each other which, which, how do we take care of the rights of both sides of the political divide. Yes. Unfortunately, we were overruled by the powers that be. And that's why eventually, like I have said, only Raila and Uhuru ended up nominating those four members of the selection panel. Mm -hmm. And that is what gave us these four but, commissioners. But, but we're still saying, we're still saying uh, you, you, know, you know, whether you're overpowered or not, you are the more fair uh, bit to, 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 to nominate. Yes. You participated. Yes. You should have raised issues then. 
because you sat there in parliament and sat to you. with the trust of Kenyans. But I have told but you what happened. But don't let me, the Honorable Uru Kenyatta and, uh, and Raila Odinga, and fairly also. You no, know. you failed. You failed in the National Assembly to raise those questions yourself. What happens is this. After all those nominations, because they are simply nominees, that matter is taken to the public. And if the public is not happy with it, it gives a feedback to the, to, 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 to the relevant committee of the National Assembly. And finally, it comes to the floor of the House, where they also enjoyed majority. Right. So you have so many stages whereby Kenyans can participate, elected leaders can participate, select, uh, you know, the relevant committee of parliament participates, and all that is done in the public clear. So I don't think really the appointment of the commissioners were unfair in any way. It was uh, a process which was definitive, as you have read there. You can see the religious community has participated, different sectors of, uh, of professionals have participated. So it means by the time you end up be a commissioner, you have properly been refined, and you have a right to raise an objection as a commissioner if you think the election is not going well, or if you think the commission, the constitution is being breached. You cannot blame the four commissioners for 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 raising up and saying we are not acting as a commission. The chairman is be, pretending to be a commission on his own. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It is perfectly within their right, and that's why finally an election petition has to be presented so that all these matters are conversed and uh, an independent Thank you. judiciary makes a determination and the country moves forward. All right. You, you had bugbears and fears. Now that you're in Azimio, I think we've had it uh, categorically being put on the floor there. Um, not really on the floor of the house. Uh, I can't remember. If we, you can remind me, Dan Mazo, if it was on the floor of the house. But we've heard from the rallies, uh, especially from Gladys Wanga, that Bukati is not fit to actually be in this office and to run another election. Do you rule uh, the day that you let him, you know, go ahead and run this particular election? You know, the, the, because I can see the, 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 reason why a similar this, process. The, the reason why I'm asking this, I can see from your prayers is that uh, you're ordering IBC to conduct a fresh presidential election in conformity with the law. And at the same time, you don't want Chebukati to be presiding this particular, uh, you know, pre presidential election. You know, if one of the things uh, which have been committed here are, you know, offenses under the Election Act. And if the Supreme Court finds sufficient evidence that uh, the, the, the Mr. Chebukati mm -hmm. has broken the Constitution, has, uh, uh, has, uh, has uh, breached the Election Act intentionally so, the Supreme Court will guide accordingly. That's why all prayers are before the... So the Supreme Court will find... Whether Chabukati is still fit to carry on his business by himself or together with other commissioners or as a commission or not. And that's why all these matters... What is your prayer, Zazimio, that he doesn't? That is our prayer. And it has to come out, out of the, mal, the, the electoral malpractices yes. and the breach of the constitution, which is a very serious matter. And if you have frontally, knowingly, you know, uh, played around with the numbers and uh, breached the Election Act, you know, Election Offenses Act. It means you have committed an offense and at that particular moment you are at the mercy so, of the Supreme me. Court. E educate me. If you go full steam ahead with these prayers, uh, we have Aaron Chiriot. You, you are uh, now a Senator-elect. Mm -hmm. We have you, the Senator-elect of Makweni as well, Senator-elect Kericho as it is. Uh, you've not been sworn in. Where a lot of malpractices were committed. Where? Part where? of it is in Kericho, where, where he was and where he made sure we did not have, uh, uh, you know, people to oversight our election. Well, are we supposed yeah, to put agents for you? <laughs> 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 but you can make sure my agent has no, 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 not no, no, Let him finish. That's not a very fair statement. Because, yes, but I'm saying. Because, because he said in Kericho, we have a political party to have their agents in place. Yeah. And, and Joe <laughs> Kindongo has put it uh, very well in the 2017, uh, you know, you know, ruling that you have to throw your weight if you do not bring your agents to a polling station and then you blame your competitor i mean it's very dishonest what if you send your agents and they are sent away who, who? we are not the ibc by by no <laughs> <laughs> you can't help this disorganized lot that is uh, so so is no, it, no, is no, it no, so the question i was asking is, is it also us no. who asked you to send goons to national talent center instead of sending young brilliant people who could help verify for 34 is because for the first three days, these people were just looking for two things, a laptop and Davis Chirchir. For three days, <laughs> anything that they saw, is that a laptop? You know, honestly, uh, my goodness, you guys also must have got to be fair to Raila Odinga. Mm. That old man has tried, but he keeps on being let down by people like you. So, you know, on that day, Gladys was here and no. she claimed that her laptop was captured uh, at IBC by one Charity Ngilu. 
in that is fact, less. In yeah, you know, so, you know why? Yeah. Because these guys came with a with, with a mentality that uh, there is somebody who can walk in with a laptop and he'll be able to change figure. You know, some weird theories that only a mad person can believe. But but, is but it how do you hack system? No, no, uh, but how do you hack system? You use a laptop. Uh, yeah. So is is that but one also? Even if office? you wanted to hack, no, even no, if you wanted to hack, do you come and hack on site? Honestly, <laughs> what's wrong with these guys? <laughs> Would you really come and but, do the hacking? You know, at, but you know where you are hacking from because you are very familiar with the hacking system. You, you know, you this guy, if, if, uh, if, if you follow the tales, but, but you know you have to understand how ODM works. Do you know, can I shock you? No, it, 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 no, depends where, you. it depends where the server is. Let me help you yeah, understand the proximity of where the server is. As well. the server. If, if the proximity of a server is within the, the, the premises of, uh, <laughs> of, of the RBC, it will be very easy for you to carry out. Uh, no, just thinking. I'm not really an, a technician or, the, a, the or an IT expert. Let me help you. Please, uh, don't spew ignorance. It doesn't yeah, matter. That's what I'm saying. You know, uh, it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. where you're doing yeah, it from. My deficiency and is there's, coming through. There's no, I'm advantage, not, there's no advantage that you get uh, from uh, being uh, close uh, or far. Uh, 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 access is access. Yeah, it's true. Because he knows how he hacked. Yeah, he's, he <laughs> he's an expert. <laughs> this is the other thing. But the point is No, let me help you. First of all, there's something that happened at Bomas that will help you understand the psychology of these politicians who feed off. You know, Raila Odinga has the unfortunate... Uh, a curse of working with people who just want to feed out of his politics and not give anything in return. Yeah, yeah. You know, when we were seated at Bomas, one of the ODM uh, politicians from Luanyanza walked up to me and said, hey, uh, of course, uh, after ex exchanging the pleasantries after election, hey, congratulations on your win, and I said uh, as much to them. Then they said, you know, uh, I want to either, this time I must either be a commissioner like you or be a speaker. So give me two minutes, you'll see what I'm going to do here. <laughs> and true to his word, in three minutes he was rolling on the floor. A very senior member was having his third term. And later after the, all that drama, he walked away and said, ah, Mze ya meona, and I, he, he knows I'm, I'm protecting his vote. That is the ODM psychology. That <laughs> <laughs> Poor Raila of, of course you're saying this with, uh, with your tongue fumbling cheek. It is the truth. <laughs> 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 but back to my question. Yes. Are we also facing maybe, uh, you know, a constitutional dilemma then, if you have not been sworn in? We don't, we don't have a, a National Assembly right now, as it is intact, yes. and also the Senate. And here you are wanting uh, Chebukati not to preside over this particular uh, presidential election, if it will be called for. That can only where, be, where, what, what, that can only be di the court will give direction as to what will happen. You see, once the court arbitrates a matter, it will, it will direct according to the prayers what is in the best interest of the country. You, you, you see, that's why the prayers are the inquiry. That's why we have a court as an arbiter of, uh, of uh, elect, ele electoral matters. When things go wrong, then the court gives direction. Where there are vacuums, the court is able to, to do what is within the law uh, and what is best for the country. Right, Aaron Chiriot, uh, he claims that, of course, looking at these commissioners, they didn't really pass master. They were handshake, uh, handshake commissioners, as it were. Uh, we need to question the, the recruitment <laughs> process. But even, uh, you know, people have been, Chebukati lately have been soaking up the spotlight as well, mm -hmm. even uh, in regard to his recruitment, that mm -hmm. he was not really the first, that according to the interviewees, he was the fourth. I have selected three, but they went for Chebukati, mm -hmm. right? So the question will become again, uh, looking at the leadership of Chebukati and that recruitment process. Will you question that? Will you back that particular let me, recruitment? Let me, let me tell you. Let me let me tell you something. They've been asking for him to go home. Let uh, me say something. I'm asking him, do they rue the day that? Uh, let, yeah, me, let me ask. They, let me tell you something. Uh, run this election. Let me tell you something that you don't know. Uh, eventually. The story of the 2022 presidential election will be written and the truth will come out. Mm. Might not be now, might be a decade or two later. But if there was ever a time that the country was on the brink of a crisis and the man that helped us avert that crisis is none other than che Wafula Chebukati by just being firm and ensuring that he did his job as is expected of him. When the truth eventually comes, in fact, part of the truth will come out from tomorrow. You know when Wafula Chebukati files his uh, affidavit in court, mm. this country will be shell-shocked. How very high-ranking officials in this government, from as high as state house, sent emissaries to him and the kind of things that they were telling and asking of him to do. How there was even an attempt on his life. Are you aware that even the IBC commissioners, that, uh, the other three, and uh, the ones that were attacked by these uh, Azimio goons in the names of uh, members of parliament, Akina Urengo and Wanga, the only reason why uh, some of them are still comfortable and, and continuing uh, with their work 
is with the assurance of security that is being provided by by uh, foreign emissaries you couldn't I trust so. i don't my, think that statement is correct my friend, no way security can be listen, provided and, by and, foreigners and, and, it and is learn local. to listen dan mahanzo because the truth of the matter if you have been attacked while gsu are watching will you be stupid enough to walk home and expect the same gsu to protect you in the darkness if you are being attacked in the full glare of camera like happened to jebukati the only reason why they still continue the kind uh, to do their work with is, the is it but true? They have is it true that Jabukati is staying as the deputy president's residence or you are providing security that is uh, no that is Bartok that you're now bringing to a very serious yeah, yeah, panel yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but it's the same way you are saying foreigners are providing security which which which, which, which but which and what protocol, protocol do we have foreigners yeah. providing security to and the, and the what, commissioners what, I mean, what we have a government we have a government that so, has so failed uh, that has failed not even take care not of not necessarily you know, when, when we say security yeah, yeah. when you say security mm. uh dan manzo would imagine that uh, it is somebody with a gun and, no. and, and walking around <laughs> you know the, secu the security even means the assurance that somebody has intervened and said because you know we have a, a diplomatic uh, we, ha we have the uh, the foreign co uh, uh, co international Observe. community that's yeah. that's a word that i was looking for that has made sure even to just engage the inspector general of police and say this cannot be happening do you give us the assurance that these uh, gentlemen are going to be provided for with the kind of security that is needed no. even extracting that from the ig alone is enough for no. the uh, for the comfort of this commission because you must remember yeah. none other than a deputy inspector general was on the podium when orengo ledama and wanga attacked wafula i can assure you honorable and orengo, orengo, so orengo I can tell and you, wanga did not attack they anybody. slapped him or that is a fact. So you are not in Bomas house there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they okay. slapped Wanga. Okay. Wanga removed her shoe and hit Chebukati with it. That is a fact that cannot be. Uh, that All right. So we, I'm not know? privy to that fact myself, so that I cannot really. You don't have to yeah, be yeah, privy. Yeah, yeah. Just play the clips. Well, I, did, I, don't, I didn't see it. I watch, didn't see it. Play the clips. You will. You will be able to see that during that ensuing melee. So this is the point that I'm making. That there have been very uh, serious attempts to intimidate uh, the staff of IBC. In fact, somebody has asked. What is the real petition before the Supreme Court? Can I tell you what the real petition is? The real petition is a, hand, is a, is a traditional government or a handshake to some kind of, sort of kind of thing. That is what Azimi are pleading for. How do they want to achieve this? They want to achieve this by going to the Supreme Court, demanding that Wafula Chebukati, uh, they, they'll demand either for uh, a rerun or a fresh election, whatever you may want to call it. Immediately after, they will precipitate a crisis by insisting that those elections cannot be conducted by Wafula Chebukati. And of course, you know what that will lead to. There'll it's be a stalemate. There'll be a stalemate in the country. That's what I'm asking. Once there's yeah. a stalemate, yes. uh, of course, uh, their fault, you know, is violence. And that will be launched in equal numbers. There'll be demonstrations. You'll be told every Monday, hey, there'll be this and that. Of course, then pressure from the international community but will start uh, building. No, 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 can unfair. we have a transitional government I in the meantime? As you no, no, no. But, but I can tell you. I am saying this today. Today, what, what is the date today? Uh, the, 23rd, the 23rd of August. Check with me two weeks after the ruling of the Supreme Court if it goes in their favor. If that is not what they'll be demanding. No, no, no. From, but uh, it will okay. be unfair for you to because characterize. Because they know. Just, just a moment. Be, because they know. It will be unfair for you to characterize the whole coalition now, which is a new formation. <laughs> it's not as new. Their as their forte is violent. It is a different forest, but same monkeys from NASA, from code. I mean, we know their playbook. They are not, they are not angels in Kenya. But you Dindin Torengo actually let you, out uh, part of the secret yesterday yeah. when he said that even when they extract a ruling ordering for fresh elections, they will not go to the elections with Wafula Chebukati as a chair. You are on this forum before and that say that person, uh, wise from men, court. you know, wise men, ch they change their minds. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't think now that actually they, in Azimio, they've changed their mind. You can't actually uh, characterize them. Uh, uh, reading uh, that through, that reading. violence is what is going to be, to be but, also. But I can tell you, I can, I, if their leaders are beating up uh, IBC commissioners in full grey mm -hmm. of the camera, what have they changed? What have they changed? What more can... In fact, the people that I must congratulate this time are the Azimio supporters. They have left violence to the leaders. You know, for many times we have been speaking and telling them, if Dan Manzo wants you people of Makweni to demonstrate for the presidential election, tell him to bring his uh, children to be on the forefront. Not you, can never the children of persons. Right. And you know, now, this you know time, can never this time the citizen, you, you've, you've been <coughs> seeing so, those little clips on TikTok and on Facebook and wherever, and even from Kibra, where young people are saying, I did my bit. I voted. It was you who was supposed to protect your vote. Mm. If it was stolen from you, please find ways of constitutionally addressing it. I am not going to attack my neighbor. And I've seen clips from uh, different places. 
That is what has put these guys in shape. Otherwise, if their supporters had done the usual thing that they are used to, you know, people also learned. 2007, lives are lost. 2013, supporters were killed. 2017, support. You'll only be a fool to join them this time in demonstrating, and 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 yet you know that after being killed and leaving your family to fake, uh, eke out a living for itself, they will go to the steps of a rambe house, but shake hands and yeah. never consider you. Okay, let, let me hear from uh, Isaac. But looking evidently from what we've had with this uh, general election, it's been fairly peaceful, and we don't expect any violence, even maybe with the pronouncement of the courts as well. But also, we don't need to condition Kenyans that uh, you know that is expected outcome from one side of uh, the divide at the end of the day people change people I mean, change and uh, we, are, we are preaching peace at the end of the day so it's not really their forte uh, I think it's good to maybe recall that and uh, yeah also expect some you know a peaceful outcome even with their reactions on the Supreme but Court's see, judgment at the end of the day but uh, the question I'm asking that that's helmet that will be in how will it be resolved or this is the remit of the court no, first and foremost you know we are, we, we, we are we are trying to postulate a situation. No, we're not postulating. But this is, of course, we, we, have, to, we have to play the case scenarios at the end of the day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that's, I mean, that, that's a postulation. If and when, for example, uh, uh, we have such an outcome, I hope we shall not have that, that outcome, that we shall be able to prove to court that we won this election fair and square and that the country shall move forward. Uh, but also, when we are postulating this uh, you know, scenario, it is because of the fact that already... Uh, there is a precedent uh, of how things have been done. If you look at the photos uh, or presentation of uh, Supreme Court, uh, this, this uh, bunch of papers, uh, you know, if you look at the 2013 photo, it looks very similar to the one of 2017, same characters, and now 2022. Very consistent. So when you talk about violence, was it consistent? Yes. What is the difference, though, is that, number one, Right now, they've started a, a clarion call of saying no justice without, no, 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 no peace without justice. Mm. That is a call to violence. Because what are we saying? That if it doesn't go your way, there will be no peace. There will be violence. There will be violence. Yeah. Number two, why the Azimio supporters, and I must congratulate them, have not come out to the streets to, to fight, is because this time round we were told we have the system. And you know, William Ruto uh, said very clearly, they trust on horses and chariots, uh, quoting the Bible, but we trust in God the Father. The truth of the matter, they trusted on a system so much to the extent they didn't even have agents in their own strongholds in, the, in the other, those other places. So the, the Azimio supporter is saying, but you told us, you told us that you are well prepared, that indeed we also agreed the president was supporting you. Little did they know that first president Uhuru Kenyatta supporting them was a baggage, and that number two, really with the, the, this kind of election where the, 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 the elections are final, and there is no moderation of Form 34Bs, and, and, and so therefore Form 34C, there is no way anyone would steal this election. So even then, they can say, go to the portal, it's public. One of the pleadings that uh, the, the, the Azimio people are doing is to say that, uh, that the, the, the portal was made too public. Can you imagine? The same people who went to court and say that they need, a, I mean, the court order that it should be simple, verifiable, and what have you, are now the ones complaining that it was too public and also intimating that there was some kind of hacking, which they need to prove. Because what I hear them so talking about a lot here is false evidence. It's actually making false allegations and claims just to justify their very weak petition. Uh, uh, Debal, you know, you can, you can fool some people sometimes. Uh, you can fool some people, uh, you know, but you cannot ever fool some people all the time. People now can see through your intentions. And sometimes it's only good enough to just stand up and say, honestly, let me concede, you know, and, and move forward as a country. Now, Kenyans, one of the things that is really disturbing to Azimio people is because the precipitation of a crisis as they would have wanted cannot happen. Why? People have gone back to work. Schools have reopened. To now come back and start saying that uh, there will be violence, it will be difficult. And that is what they wanted to achieve by creating a crisis like the, the, the you know, like those uh, party elections where you throw tables, you disrupt chairs, and, what, and I must commend the GSU because they were able to restore order. Uh, Gabo, the DIG, I want to call you out on national television. You looked partisan. 
in the manner in which you executed your role as a DIG, you look like you were siding with the with the with the. With, with, I with, think that is character assassination. Uh, <laughs> no, is, no, 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 I stand by it. No, 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 no but he's not here to defend himself. He may not defend. So you cannot just call him out no, on national not, television. No, he may no, not no, 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 no. That one, I, I think you know you are actually <laughs> overstepping. Now, Please. but I want to say very clearly. No, 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 you need to he, recall that. I, I, I want to say very clearly that he did not act in a manner. No, we are not. We are not to we, ensure that there was. Security. Okay, he's not here to defend himself. Now, going <laughs> forward, me. I want to say this. Uh, you know, you know, you know, Dubao, that we need to have a situation where uh, leaders are held accountable. You know, ODM uh, survives on structured chaos. They survive on having a situation where people, you know, are no, you know disorganized and whatever. But you see, now they took their disorganization too far. To the extent that they have actually uh, been able to fail uh, Ray Laudinga. And let me say this, because at some point I worked with him. There are people who just want to win the ticket of the poli popular political party. They, they find themselves as the governors. They find themselves as senators and members of parliament. They don't care whether Ray Laudinga is sworn in as president. And for them, their work is done. Even this whole issue of Supreme Court is a mourning process where eventually they'll tell, uh, you know, their supporters, we tried, but we failed. Well, but they, they claim that they have a smoking gun. It is a concrete, uh, solid evidence. They, they, they do they have, have uh, they, they have a concrete case in the history of East Kenya. They've actually intimated, uh, int intimated that. And so we're waiting to see what, how concrete it is. Even if we never file a petition, eight other characters or persons or organizations are filed very serious petitions. And you can see, even I call it Omutata, uh, none of the candidates got 50% plus one. You know what that tells you uh, in the Constitution and in the law, <coughs> what is the consequence of that. So it is only fair to allow, you know, all interested Kenyans who have evidence in one way or another that uh, something was not right to go to the Supreme Court and get the records set right. Secondly, these uh, elections are cast, uh, you know, the vote is cast by 14, about 14 million Kenyans. It is almost 50-50. And there's something we have not addressed as a nation. I think we should think forward to address. And one of it is uh, what happens in future. What is this story of winner take it all? It has not been addressed. Uh, and when, when one becomes president, should you then not find a way of carrying the whole country along? And I think that's where, unfortunately, President Uhuru was misunderstood in a big way. The requirement of the Constitution is that whoever becomes president unites the country for the benefit of the country and for the benefit of everybody who did not vote, who voted in one way or another. So I, I believe uh, with, with all these pending issues, it is only fair for, any of the, for all the parties who have gone to court, including as mayor, to be given their fair chance in court to argue their case. And uh, a fair you know, judicial system comes up with a determination which is in the best interest of the country. And I believe if we do that, uh, we'll avoid these character assassinations. You. We'll avoid this idea of say Wanga attacked men. I mean a lady right. who's just become governor, all Senator right. Orengo, with all his illegal experience. In just a moment. So, so we have one of the grounds <laughs> that uh, Raila is putting out that the no quorum as four IBC commissioners rejected the results. Chebukati went to full steam ahead to read the results, not in concert with the uh, with the other four commissioners. You've always now whipped up that particular uh, part of the constitution that he is the presidential returning officer, as it were. But this is one of the grounds that they're putting uh, as uh, one of the issues that is critical in determining, of course, the way forward with this particular election at the end of the day. My question to you is, uh, you think the three was a majority or the four is a majority, Aaron Chariot? There's, there, there's no constitutional or logical provision uh, either by statute or any other means that the commissioners of IBC go and have a referendum on the votes of uh, Kenyan people to determine who the eventual winner is. I think uh, the law is quite clear. Uh, this is uh, confounded actually by the ruling of 2017 that the polling station is actually the final uh, turning point of um, a presidential election. What uh, the final declaration point? What is expected of uh, uh, Chebukati and IBC is simply to do a clerk's job, which is to uh, do a math of uh, 46,229 forms, which it looks bulky. But at the end of the day, by the way, Wafula Chebukati's job can be done even by a brilliant standard two kid 
which is to put maths together and just add because it's it's uh, <coughs> it, this station 400 300 there 200 in the other one 700 in this particular station it's only that it's it's bulk it's a bulky job but at the end of the day the decision is already done once it's declared at the polling uh, station therefore uh, this issue about the declaration that needed to have been made in uh, at, at, at BOMAS is neither here nor there. There is no provision that the IBC commissioners are supposed. Otherwise, if that was uh, to be the case, then ideally what uh, Azimir are claiming is that uh, there was supposed to be an interview of the, of the presidential candidates by the seven commissioners and they take a vote and whoever they pick uh, seemingly is <coughs> the president. You must remember, and this is something that uh, Moura uh, raised, that even in the, in the conduct of the, these four commissioners is completely suspect. You must, you must remember that they announced 256 out of 291 polling uh, no, uh, uh, constituencies, you know, themselves, the entire seven commissioners. It's only in the final, uh, the eventual, I think, 36 that were remaining or something uh, close to that, that they were, uh, they were, uh, were later informed that uh, they had stormed out of uh, Bomas and gone uh, on. If you could not pick an error, 256 out of uh, 291 is close to 80 or 90 percent of, uh, of, of, of the entire exercise. That it's only in the final 10 percent that you come and tell us, oh, there have been some opaqueness. Then we are bound to logically believe those that are accusing you and saying, you, uh, you actually received your brief quite late and were told to act in a certain manner. And later when you saw that you could not execute the job, that's why they rushed uh, to a press conference. Otherwise, uh, anybody can do. In fact, you do know very well, it's only that you cannot be open about it. That even here in this uh, KTN studios, you guys did a tally of the 34As, you did a tally of 34Bs as they were being, uh, as they were being, as they were being, what is it called? Transmitted. Uploaded, uploaded uh, okay. onto the portal. It's only later when you guys in the media realize who the eventual winner is and were not so comfortable about it that you failed in making a declaration. No, I think that otherwise, no, 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 that would be a wrong characterization. What, <laughs> so, yeah, so what is it? What is yeah. Why didn't you guys uh, make a declaration know, like you've always done in all the other elections? Well, well I think the, the, the general knowledge is in the public that, of course, Kenyans were not really understanding how we are having different projections of, you know, different results in different stations because ultimately that will have been coming and tell it to be, you know, as one. But, but at the end of the day, people now are actually at the end of the day, day. at the end of the day, that, that was the genesis you are of it. all bound to come to the same conclusion. Yeah. Is it, yeah, once you complete that, the forty-six thousand, that's it. Thirty-four but, is, but, or the two hundred and ninety-one, yeah, thirty-four the B's, impatient. or the eventual thirty-four. And they were not really understanding. No, no, that's no, what now no, it is no, actually no, creating no, a lot of excuses. We know what happened. No, there's nothing. We know what happened. That is a false allegation. And you cannot really account. We know what Can you allow me to take a short breath, also, just to now take a? We are not strangers. I can serve you some tea here. <laughs> that is a false allegation. I still stand by it. Okay, we'll take a short break. We'll circle back with more. No, why do